What is up, awesome people? Welcome back to Nursing Basics. My name is Ronald, and as promised, today, right here, right now, we're gonna be talking about the phases of the cardiac cycle. There are three phases of the cardiac cycle, right up here. The first is atrial diastole, followed by atrial systole, and then ventricular systole. We're gonna break down each one of those phases in detail, so make sure you stick around. Before we get started, there's some basic vocab we need to brush up on. Diastole is when a chamber of the heart is relaxed and is filling with blood. Systole is when a chamber of the heart is contracting and ejecting blood. This little analogy might help you remember. I like to think of it as a water balloon. When you're filling a water balloon, it is relaxing and filling with water. That would be the equivalent of diastole. If you were to squeeze that water balloon full of water, it would eject the water and that would be equivalent to systole. All right, peeps, I wanna make this super easy for you because I know it can be confusing, especially if you've just learned all these terms like atria, systole, diastole, ventricles. So yeah, we're gonna break this down and make it easy. Just relax. You're gonna know your stuff by the end of this video. For your reference, this is the right side of the heart. This is the left side of the heart. I'm also going to take these covers off so you can get a better anatomical picture of what's going on inside the heart. But before I do, this is the right atrium, this is the left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Here we go, now the covers are off. There are four chambers of the heart, the right and left atrium, and the right and left ventricle. There are also four valves, the tricuspid and mitral valve, and the pulmonic and aortic valve hidden right in there. If you need a refresher on the basic anatomy and blood flow of the heart, make sure you check out my other video, link in the description. But let's get back to the phase of the cardiac cycle. I like to think of it like this. In a normal, healthy heart, when one set of chambers is relaxing, the other is contracting, vice versa. When one set of chambers is contracting, the other is relaxing. Same with the valves. When one set of valves is closed, the other set is open. Vice versa, when one set of valves is open, the other set is closed. I also like to remember them in pairs in which they work together. The right and left atria relax and contract together. The tricuspid and mitral valve open and close together. The right and left ventricle relax and contract together. And the pulmonic and aortic valve open and close together. This brings us to our first phase of the cardiac cycle, which is known as atrial diastole. Now remember, diastole means relaxing. So that means during atrial diastole, the right and left atria are relaxing and filling with blood. Also during this phase, the tricuspid and mitral valve are closed. This allows the upper chambers to fill with blood and prevents blood from leaking down into the ventricles. So remember what we learned earlier? If one set of chambers is relaxed, the other is contracting, and that's exactly what's happening here. During atrial diastole, the ventricles are contracting and the pulmonic and aortic valve are open. This brings us to our second phase, atrial systole. During atrial systole, the right and left atria contract, which means the tricuspid and mitral valves open, allowing blood to flow into the right and left ventricles. Remember the vice versa? If the atria are contracting, that means the ventricles are relaxing. And if these valves are opening, the pulmonic and aortic valves are closed. This is so the ventricles can fill and the pulmonic and aortic valves are closed to prevent blood from leaking into the pulmonary artery and into the aorta. And this brings us to our third and final phase known as ventricular systole or ventricular contraction. In this phase, the ventricles of the heart, the right and left ventricles, are contracting and the aortic and pulmonic valves are opening. So if the ventricles are contracting, that means the atria are relaxing. And if the pulmonic and aortic valves are opening, that means the tricuspid and mitral valves are closed. And that's it. Well, there you go. You just learned the phases of the cardiac cycle. I'm proud of you. Good job. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment down below. I would love to help you out. Seriously, I will respond to your comment. Also, make sure you check out the Quizlet. That way you can check out your comprehension over this video. And make sure you keep an eye out for my next video on basic ECG waveform and what the P, Q, R, S, and T means. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget the basics of life. Be kind and do good. Peace out.
Thank you.